<laughs> weird. So hey, hey, it's me, IRJ, and welcome and welcome back to my to my YouTube channel. So, oops, na natin. So for today's video is another informative video na naman, which is um nakuha ko yung idea na ito dahil may nakita ko sa Twitter na isang thread ng mga apps that can be used kapag nag-online class. So, I would like to share it sa inyo, guys. Para, ano, para malaman nyo rin. Kasi nakita ko. Kasi, ano naman, nanghingi ako ng consent dun sa nag-post. And, nag-agree naman siya. And, credits nga po pala dito sa so, babaeng to. Which is, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much po, ate. Sa um, pagbibigay sa akin ng consent para gawin itong video na to. Okay, guys. So, hindi ko na patatagalin to. Without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So, yung mga apps na to, nakaganyan siya. Pinicturean ko na lang siya. Tapos, lalagay ko na lang dito sa screen. And, makikita nyo naman kung ano yung name ng application. And, kung ano yung itsura. So, okay. So, first is itong Microsoft OneNote. It take down notes and organize them according to their categories. So, kung napanood nyo na guys, yung isa kong informative video na tips and tricks sa online class sabi ko sa inyo, sinabi ko sa inyo na um, maglagay kayo ng folder para i-categorize nyo yung inyong mga mga files, mga ganun, documents, or mga notes, which is dun papasok itong Microsoft OneNote magagawa, magagawa magagawa nyo yung pag-organize ng mga notes nyo using this So, next is Microsoft Office. We all know naman din. Nakabuilt in na siya sa mga cellphones nowadays. And it creates documents, spreadsheets, presentations, notes, and etc. Next is WPS Office, which is, um, ginagamit din to kapag nanghahack. Diba? Ginamit nyo to nung nanghahack kayo dun sa Adorable Home. Oo, alam ko yun. 999. Madaming 9 yung inyong pera dun. Kala nyo, ha? So it is alternative to Microsoft Office and is and is fully compatible and comparable to Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel and Word. This is good PDF reader. Oh, nga, oh guys. So yung mga document nyo kapag ina-open nyo sa cellphone nyo, pwede kayo sa WPS Office kasi mas maganda yung features niya na edit nyo mga ganun. Tapos lalo sa PD, sa PDF. Lalo sa PDF. Next is itong Next is itong ni Notion. Next is Notion. It provides several templates where you can create your notes, do list and organize your schedule. So, ayun daw, parang ito yung journal mo or kung nagjo-journal ka ba kapag halimbawa, halimbawa ano, hindi kayo online class ngayon. Halimbawa, last year ganun. Meron kayong isang journal na nandun yung inyong mga kailangan reviewin, mga to-do list, ganon. So, Notion is the app para doon. Next is, next app is Grammarly. Easily improve any text. Eliminate grammar errors, detect plagiarism, advance grammar rules, contextualize spell checker and vocabulary enhancement. So, dito sa Grammarly, ito guys yung Um, kapag merong essay, essay, M, M, eh, tapos gusto nyo i-check kung meron kayo wrong grammar, ganon, so, lalagay nyo lang yung, yung passage na gusto nyo i-check, and lalagay dun, makikita nyo dun yung mga errors, dun sa passage na, na, dun sa passage na in-input nyo. And nga pala guys, it also, sabi nga dito, it detects plagiarism. So, yung mga teacher, pwede din gamitin ng mga teacher itong Grammarly para makaano sila, para kapag nagpapa-essay, ganun-ganun, tapos nakita nila, ay, plagiarize, bupanes. Okay guys, okay, next is itong Orphic. Helps you to expand your vocabulary and push you to discover new words. This is an IP denotation, pronunciation helper, word type classification, synonyms, and examples. So, itong Orphic, um, para siyang isang, ano siya, application siya in which yung knowledge nyo about, knowledge nyo about words, vocabularies, dito may enhan. Meron siyang pronunciation. Halimbawa, hindi nyo alam yung pronunciation nitong ganito. So, lalagyan nyo lang yung spelling and then ipapronounce siya ng Orphic. So, next app that we will be featuring for today 
is itong telegram. Yes, telegram. Lahat naman tayo yata may telegram. May telegram ka ba? Um, telegram, if you need to create a group for your studies, use this app. You can send different files here and there are learning bots that you can help you. That can help you. O nga, sa telegram kasi, meron din siyang mga polls. Like, yung sa sinalihan kong isang sinalihan kong isang channel which is um, Ukat Reviewers Channel. Parang mga poll siya ng mga mga poll siya na educational poll. Like, basta para siyang ano, poll. Poll nga. Basta. Tapos ano, sobrang kapag magsasend kayo ng picture go kayo sa telegram. Kasi yung telegram, hindi siya na ano, hindi hindi nababawi yung quality. Unlike kapag si messenger nyo sinend, papangat yung quality. So, yes. Mas, ano din siya, iwas sa lag. Can Next is itong Canva. You can choose from many professional design templates and edit the designs and upload your own photos through a drag and drop interface. This app is perfect to create a creative presentation. So, ayun, gamitin nyo daw yung Canva kapag kaya ay may presentation kasi maganda yung layouts. Next is itong course app. Help helps you to stay focused and manage your time in an interesting and pleasant way. Next is note block. It lets you take pictures of each page to store them on your device as if they were scanned. So, ito, maganda yung note block. Mga be. Halimbawa, meron kayo Meron kayong sinulat. Meron kayong sinulat sa isang one. Meron kayong sinulat sa isang yellow pad. Isang, isang yellow pad. Tapos, pinikturan nyo using note block. So, magiging dating nun sa note block, masascan siya. Next is itong scribed. Access millions of files from different authors that have sources that you can use for your subjects. So, kung gusto nyo ng references, um, gusto nyo ng other learning materials you can use scribe next is itong class app help students manage classes or schedules organize notes and track tasks so class app are siyang to do list kahoot helps you to prepare for your upcoming exams create plays create quizzes and play with your friends so yung kahoot ano siya gusto ko siyang i-download kasi parang ano ano niya ang creative niya sa field ng learning. Parang ano kasi, gagawa ka ng quiz mo, tapos, sagutan mo, para maano ka, para, hindi mo na kailangan ng isang tao na magre-review sa'yo, na magtatanungan kayo ganun. So, you can do that with Kahoot. Next is itong Quizlet. Another app that will help you prepare, prepare? Another app that will help you prepare for your exams. It allows students to study information via flashcards flash and various games and tests. So, so photomat. Alam mo naman yung photomat. Huwag kang magkakaila. Alam mo yung photomat. Aba. And next is itong Khan Academy. It offers practice exercises, instructional videos, and a personalized learning dashboard that empower learners to study. So, ano, sobrang, sobrang recommended ko itong Khan Academy kasi alam niyo naman, kahit sa YouTube talaga. Khan Academy is the best na nga be. Ayan na po yung mga apps. Um, sana na, um, ayan, sana kayo ay aking natulungan para sa at sa inyong online classes. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any video suggestions, make sure to comment it down below because I will do my best para magawa ko yung video na isa suggest nyo. And yeah, if you, if you want, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on the notification bell para naman na-pilip kayo sa mga uploads ko. Bye! See you on my next one!